Hello and welcome to our next tutorial which is on Cuckoo. I'm Anjali Chen and welcome again to another tutorial involving Cuckoo. Cuckoo creates diagrams online with real-time collaboration. As you see, I already have my account, but you can sign up for a free account here at www.cuckoo.com. There are different forms that you're able to create within this site. Let's take a quick tour. Now, with real-time collaboration means that all of us can be online at the same time. We can create a dynamic bunch of forms using different stencils that are available within Cuckoo. Now, here it lets us know that we can draw diagrams easily. We can create appealing diagrams easily on the web with a variety of stencils and get ready to go and make our marks perfect with all the guidelines. There are multiple sheets and backgrounds available. We can check the editing history, although you cannot check the editing history on a free account which we will be using. But an example of an editing history is shown here. And we will go back. There are flexible connectors that you can do from object to object. We can open our diagram to the public with um, using blog or wiki images on the Kaku, which we will go over. We can export it in higher graph files, such as a PDF or an SVG. Um, we can also put them on Facebook. We can share our diagrams with our team or clients. It does involve real-time collaboration and we have the ability to chat with the other collaborators. So once you receive the invitation to come and join on the, on the Kaku, you would now come in and sign up for your free account. And as we go in, you can see the diagrams I have already created here. There are three of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new di diagram as a test. Now you come up with a blank canvas and there are many different stencils to choose from. Uh, we can start with the basic, which is basic black and white. And those are available for you to use free of charge. We also have the little balloons in case if your idea is to talk about something. There are different arrow formats that are more dynamic than just a straight arrow. We can use people, which I truly like, because each of you would be signed a little individual person as your own team player within your, within your team. Or you can use the smelly faces or whatever your personality chooses to use. But I'd like this to be creative and more dynamic. We can add little things to it as decorations and so on and so forth. We have to do dimension lines and the stencils go on and on and on for office where there's office equipment and so on and so forth. There are also ones for sale. A lot of the ones for sale are for free so that's something good to check out. And here, this is where we would save it and we're going to save this as test. One, two, three because this is a test to show you how the cuckoo can be used. You would want to put a description in here about what this is, whether it's your group name and who's included in your group. We can share this publicly and it would give us a URL that we can copy and then paste into someone else's um, group. And then we would, with our group, would allow anyone to edit because you guys would then all have the link and be able to edit. And so that's what we're going to do at that point. And then we save. And as you see on the bottom, the diagram has been saved. But since we're not sharing this one, I'm not going to do that. Okay, we'll take that and we'll close it. And as you see here, 
we can share it. Now I will share this one with Miss Tuttle. And you can write a little message to that person. And once she accepts, she will actually be highlighted as well. Now, here is the menu bar, and that is for paste. That's to put in a text box, and we can do that now. And you can just start typing in your text box. Now we have different connectors, and with the connectors you can choose a color. You can choose what type of line you'd like it to start with, and there's a whole bunch that we can go through, start and finish. We can create whether it's a dotted or normal or um, a chain, and I like the chain. And we can do straight or curved or rounded corners or, you know, straighten. So it's very dynamic here, which you have a lot of flexibility to work with. So we're just going to draw a line here. And as you see, we have a red line with two arrows going back and forth. And we can move that arrow by clicking on it and dragging. And as you see, the red lines did come up as we were doing that. Now if I wanted to go in, and let's say we wanted the smiley faces. And to start with, let's say he was a little sad. And you click and drag on what you want, and you pop them down. And you click and drag again, and as you see, when you start to do this, um, guidelines will approach when you come into an area where there's something else where you can match it up. You can add text to each one of these as well. And you would just click out to get out of that. And you would add text here again. So we went from happy to sad. We went from sad to happy. Sorry. With a little, I'm being a little embarrassed. Okay. So now if you triple click on there, you can actually change your font. And there's a whole list of fonts that are available on your computer that can be brought into Cuckoo, which is really great. You can change the size of that as well or your color, and you can add different attributes to it as well. And there he is. Now as you do each thing, um, you can uh, chat with people. For instance, we will be using Google Hangouts for a live collaboration, but if you guys wanted to work on your own, this is where you could actually, as you are all working together and I'm not, ha I don't happen to be there, you can chat with one another, just chat in the chat, just type out in the little chat box and click send and it shows up and everybody can read it and reply to it as they want to. Okay. We can zoom in, um, in, so if it's a little hard to read when it's smaller, or zoom back out if you need more room to work in your space. And we'll just bring it back to here. And I always like to save things as we go along. And again, you see the diagram was saved here. Now, if we wanted to export it, we can export it as a PNG, which is type of picture. Okay. Um, the other ones you could try and save as if you had a paid account, for instance. Um, here, if we select the PNG, it goes right to your um, desktop or anywhere else you want to save it. But um, with the SVG or PDF, I believe you only get three times per user. So um, unless you upgrade, we're not going to upgrade at this point. But we may print this out later. Say, for instance, that you did something and you wanted to undo it, and that's what that little arrow means up there. Let's put this little mad guy up here. And say you don't want him, you just hit the undo button. You want him back, you hit redo, and there he appears again. Now we can add a text box to him as well. And of course we can do all those changes as we did before, utilizing the fonts that are within the computer. And as you can tell, I have a lot of them. 
and I'm going to increase that font size there just a little bit. Now say your font size is too big and you want it to go lower, we can click in that area and drag it down and it makes the text box larger for us. And there we go. We can add a connector line as well. And since we already formatted our connector line, we can um, just add it here. Those little arrows um, could actually complete the box to box, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to do this here. And we'll save that again. And of course, it lets us know where the diagram is saved. Now you can add links if you'd like to. I saw it there before, but I can't find it now, so we'll go with that. Here's our preview mode. And we hit escape to get out of preview mode, and that's what it would actually look like with all, all of our stuff there. And these are the different menu items up on top as well as on the side. And they click a lot of those menu bars to open. Now the editing history cannot be viewed when we have um, a free plan, but that's okay. Although he seems a little unhappy about it. So we're just going to get rid of him here in a second. And these are different menu options as well. We'll hit undo. We'll save it one last time. And that is the basis for Kaku. I hope you all enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you in our project. One more thing that we can do is insert images, which I would like to do. That's with you in class. Have a great day, and I will see you during that time.